Hey, hi. Um, welcome to our third hangout. Sorry for the, uh, the few minutes uh, of delay. Uh, we are today with Jens and Jorgen from the Eclipse Scala project. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. So uh, just like the other times, I think yeah, it's our third hangout. So we're going to talk about some interesting news that uh, I've seen uh, in the well in the news recently. Uh, unfortunately, Ian cannot join us today. Uh, but yeah, we discussed beforehand about the cool stuff we would like to um, to talk about. And after that, we are going to have a, a cool demo from the uh, Eclipse SCADA uh, guys. So um, yeah, let me share my screen and show you a few uh, a few links that I have for you. So um, yep, you guys see my screen now. So uh, first uh, interesting uh, thing is next week, uh, next Wednesday, there is uh, an international IoT day, uh, so I highly encourage you to go to iotday.org and check whether there, there is an event in your area. Uh, the idea is that people will meet uh, in person uh, to talk about IoT, uh, so there's a pretty cool website that's been put together. Um, and um, yeah, uh, if you're in Europe, uh, you might want to go to Rotterdam, Zurich, Barcelona, Berlin, Stockholm, I mean, there are events uh, pretty much all over the world, and if you can't make it to a live event, uh, maybe you should uh, check out what we call IoT Live. Together with uh, Postscapes, we are organizing a live conference. So it's going to be on, on, on Google Hangout too. And uh, we will basically uh, have uh, the world day. Uh, we're going we're gonna to live stream a conference about, uh, about IoT with uh, great speakers. Uh, so you go to iotlive.org. You can uh, register to the, to the Google Hangout to make sure that you will be notified when the, um, the Hangout actually starts. So it starts uh, so it's on next Wednesday again um, at 1.30 in the afternoon, European time. So we're going to start with, uh, with some demos. Um, so I know it's pretty early for people leaving East Coast, but the idea is that uh, the, the, actual, uh, the actual event is going to start um, at, um, at 9 it's Eastern time, 3 p.m. European time. And yeah, as you can see, we have... Um, we have great speakers from uh, lots of, of companies that do uh, either open hardware or um, uh, really uh, industrial solutions like, of course, Cisco, IBM, CR Wireless, Eurotech. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to the event. Make sure to, uh, to register on the, on the Google, uh, Google Plus event page. Uh, so, again, yeah, iotlive.org, you, you click on, on the banner here and you're going to be redirected to, um, to the page. So. The um, the next uh, other um, thing I wanted to tell you, and I'm gonna blog about it uh, later this week, is that we have the videos from uh, from the IoT theme day that we had at the at the EclipseCon uh, two weeks ago. You may remember we live streamed from uh, from EclipseCon uh, a hangout, and we also had a, a great a great day. Uh, with IoT conferences, so uh, yeah, Kai Crutcher talking about small home, um, a couple of people talking about MQTT co-op, uh, securing MQTT with uh, with OAuth, um, our people corner demo. I mean, they are all there, all the demos, uh, all the all the videos of the talks, links to the slides. So go check them out on the um, on the YouTube channel of the Eclipse Foundation, uh, or look for the the blog post later. Um, later this week. Uh, all right, next uh, interesting thing. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, the, the link is broken on the homepage. Let's see if it's been fixed. Nope. Uh, so it's, it's, a new, um, it's a new open uh, open hardware project. And yeah, I have basically today uh, two links around that. We see more and more people uh, starting building solution on top of open hardware, including uh, people who do crowdfunding uh, with like uh, Kickstarter. So this project is pretty interesting. It's uh, basically a, a, a ready-to-use box for, for connecting sensors. Uh, you have all the um, 
all the uh, inputs outputs for for connecting your um, your relays your sensors um, uh, and yeah the interesting thing is that it's going to provide an MQDT API as well as a REST API so I guess um, it, it would be a good candidate for for Eclipse SCADA actually so we're going to maybe talk about that with uh, Jens and Jorgen later so yeah, go check out uh, ENS.io. It's um, I know that uh, people behind the project are also looking at uh, using Eclipse Smart Home. So yeah, definitely uh, interesting. So it's hopefully I mean uh, it's supposedly it's going to be uh, open source and, and open hardware as well. So it's cool. And yeah, I said that we have more and more project uh, that uh, start uh, and do crowdfunding. So that one. Uh, caught my attention. It's uh, actually uh, very similar to our greenhouse demo, only uh, better. Um, so it's um, yeah, it's a, it's a Kickstarter for for building an, an open platform for for growing plants. So uh, uh, yeah, go check it out. It's, uh, it's of course it's based on Arduinos and the like, and uh, it's going to help people uh, grow uh, tomatoes or basil, whatever. I don't know. I, I think there is a a map somewhere here, so yeah, uh, you can yeah grow stevia, uh, to cherry tomatoes, whatever. So it's pretty interesting, and we see more and more um, projects that get uh, started uh, on, on Kickstarter, and they build on on the open hardware ecosystem, open hardware communities. It, it's pretty cool. Um, next link is uh, Windows on devices. You might have seen, I think it was yesterday. Um, at a, um, there was a Microsoft conference where they announced the availability of Windows uh, for uh, for IoT uh, basically. Um, so there's it's pretty new. Uh, it's not quite clear yet uh, uh, what uh, the API, how the APIs will look like and stuff. But it looks like it's basically a free version of Windows that runs on the. Uh, uh, on embedded devices, um, main target is going to be the Intel Galileo. Um, that's a, a, a board running the uh, the, um, the Quark uh, system on chip. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting because the Galileo board is very similar to what you see on the field. You have the the application processor that's running the, the Quark uh, system on chip, and it's coupled with a, a microcontroller, uh, an Arduino. So yeah, um, so as you can see, you can't you can't even yet subscribe and sign up to the to the um, to be notified of the news. But uh, I, I expect some uh, some .NET micro .NET uh, APIs later on. So uh, I know there is an MQTT .NET API uh, uh, client available. So it's going to be interesting to follow what uh, what Microsoft is going to do uh, in, in in terms of IoT. And um, yeah, last news I had uh, was uh, I wanted to tell a few words about concierge. Uh, you probably know concierge. I mean, maybe not. It's um, a, a lightweight implementation of the OSGI uh, specifications. OSGI is a, a a module system for Java, and concierge targets uh, small constrained uh, embedded uh, embedded systems. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's meant to be very small. And uh, so it's one of the projects we have at Eclipse uh, around the, around IoT, and the source code is now available. So if you are interested in using Concierge, uh, you should definitely check out the source code on the on their Git repo. And I know that um, uh, Eclipse Smart Home, Eclipse Cura, and Eclipse Scada, which are all projects based on Java and OSGI, they are already looking at uh, at Concierge, um, so which brings us to actually uh, Eclipse SCADA, right? So we have we have Jens and Jorgen. Um, so you guys are based in Germany, right? And contributed the uh, the Eclipse SCADA project a couple uh, a couple months ago. So can you tell us about Eclipse SCADA? What is Eclipse SCADA about? Yes. Hello. Hi. So um, Eclipse SCADA or SCADA in in general, um, the basic idea is um, to connect humans um, to their devices. So devices are more like industrial plants or um, bigger systems. And um, you want to have some monitoring, some information, some visualization uh, for these um, kind of systems. And uh, that's the basic idea of, of SCADA, um, to aggregate all the values that you have in one common system 
uh, and provide the human end user um, with some sort of interface. Um, this also includes uh, monitoring, like um, checking if, if the stuff is working perfectly, um, alarming, and of course, um, storing the results of this in an archive. Of some. Right, okay. And so, uh, just uh, for people like me, actually, we always forget what SCADA means. It's system control? Supervisory control and data acquisition. Okay, so it's uh, yeah, it's more uh, for the uh, industrial kind of uh, yes. kind of monitoring, yeah. right? And it's also not the low level, the, the low level parts um, in, inside of hardware, but it's on top of these uh, systems. So um, the the idea is to aggregate everything that is there, all the small devices um, together in one system, and to provide an, an overview um, uh, monitoring system. All right. So, um, how would one do? Uh, I mean, how would you use Eclipse Scala? Do you do you guys have a, a, a few screenshots for us, maybe, or, or a quick demo? Yes, we, we have a, a few screenshots. Um, we will share the screen. So, can you see it? Yep, we see you all. Uh, you all desktop now. Yes. Okay. So, uh, for example, what we see here is. Um, yeah, the biggest, uh, the biggest plant that we have. Um, this is about 50,000 IOs um, that are running on one single node. So um, it's not the most complex system, but um, the, the yeah, the system with the most IOs uh, running at the moment. Uh, and this is some some technical um, monitoring system for a, a plant um, having gasoline tanks. Uh, incoming outgoing product um, and some some workflow around this uh, and this is the whole monitoring um, for this plant okay so and and the um, so the sensors in this plant what kind of protocol do they use and what kind of protocol the sensors, do you support in, in the, the hardware there is also a mixture so the customer had a lot of different hardware mainly has an s7 uh, PLC from Siemens. Um, there were also some Modbus devices, some SNMP devices, some specific uh, devices that had custom protocols which had to be implemented, uh, both on serial uh, links and on TCP. So actually it is what we have most common, is a mixture of, of different devices, different protocols, which are all brought together in the uh, Eclipse SCADA system. Okay. And so you have, so I guess this is the, um, the uh, user interface for people who want to see the actual values. Yes. And you have also something for uh, actually configuring how everything is yes. supposed to work. Right. So, um, of course, this is the end user interface. And yeah. Well, this is, this is another uh, solution uh, where the user interface looks different. Um, it's also for the end user, the user interface, but it's just um, a different way of visualizing it. OK. Also, this is the, the third variant uh, of this visualization. So uh, another customer has other wishes um, as he wants to visualize the data. And uh, here we can also see we have the chart um, where we have the, the archive attached uh, to, to the screens. And, and there, is there also, uh, so this is a, a desktop tool, right? Is there yes, a, this is, this a, is a web tool? tool. Um, it is based on the Eclipse RCP um, platform. So um, it's running on, on all different platforms that RCP supports. Uh, and it's also using the, the user interface technologies like we arrange to use um, all these different kinds of, of things that, that Eclipse uh, provides. OK. And so, how, um, so what's the best way for people to, to, to try and use Eclipse SCADA? Do you guys have? Um, a distribution already available with the the, the tool uh, ready to use and stuff? Yes. So the, the most complex thing to, to get it up and running uh, is that you normally would need some sort of hardware that is yeah, like this industrial hardware, uh, which most uh, people don't have. So the first thing that we did is we set up uh, a demo system, um, which is up and running uh, and is uh, showing um, some sensor value from an Arduino board, uh, which we have running here and which you can replicate at home. Um, the second thing is that uh, in the wiki, in the Eclipse Gata wiki, which is running on the, um, the Eclipse wiki system, uh, we have several introduction uh, tutorials uh, which should 
give you an idea on, on how to start uh, building uh, applications or building systems uh, on the Eclipse Kata system. Okay, so that's what wiki.eclipse.org slash SCADA? Slash Eclipse SCADA. Okay, cool. Basically, this is the wiki. Um, there's an Azure article. Um, uh, there's an article about setting up a, a project uh, for um, just developing uh, the SCADA stuff without uh, setting up the whole uh, environment for developing Eclipse SCADA itself. Um, and another article uh, just explains a bit more uh, how to actually create your own uh, um, server part or protocol adapters. Uh, so you, have, you have some code here. Um, and uh, it also explains how to interface with the client side of uh, Eclipse SCADA. Oh, okay, that's great. And what we have or what, what we want to do uh, in the next few days with the, uh, is to, to have the clients, which we have here now for the, uh, which is using the Arduino board. Uh, we have this running on the demo system, and we also want to upload the client to the demo system so that you can download the client uh, and can have uh, the, the same application um, which we have here now uh, running on your local desktop. So you just install the application and can play a little bit around with it, um, but you don't need to have some development system running. Yep, that's great to have such a simulator. Yeah, and so what's um, what's next? I know we talked. Uh, we were we actually met in person uh, last um, last Friday, and you guys were telling me a bit about what you have uh, uh, on your on your roadmap. Can you just quickly tell us and share with everybody? Yep. Uh, we can just go to the roadmap. So we yeah, just um, this is more or less the timeline. We it's. Pretty much a year that we started to uh, um, with the talks about moving to Eclipse. Uh, in May we had the proposal. Uh, in June we became a foundation member, uh, and in September we more or less finished the last check-ins of uh, our project. And October had our first milestone build. Um, in April we will have the the first release build. The only thing which is actually missing is. Uh, the release review, so uh, it, should, it should be only, I don't know, two or three weeks at yeah. most. So the plan is to have the release uh, the 30th of April. Um, what we are still needing, uh, what we still need is the review of the IP log and the final release review. Okay. Um, and, and after that? Uh, so that's basically a list of the new features uh, we have implemented. Uh, during the move uh, to Eclipse Scatter, and uh, we have also uh, pretty much an, a good idea of what we are going to do for the next release. Uh, we have two pieces left, uh, which are still in the original Open Scatter project, uh, which we could uh, until now not contribute to uh, Eclipse Scatter because uh, there are some pieces um, uh, regarding the libraries uh, missing. Uh, which we could not uh, take because of licensing uh, issues, uh, which have uh, resolved for the OPC uh, driver uh, because they also moved to EPL. So it shouldn't be a problem. And uh, the other stuff is the SNMP adapter, which is Apache license, so we can uh, do that. And we are going to implement a brand new product. Okay, the protocol is old, but uh, the implementation is brand new. Uh, over the next few weeks, which is uh, IC6870, um, especially as the TCP variant of it, um, because this is one of the my most widely used uh, protocols in the industry for interfacing with any electri electrical systems. So if you have big transformers, uh, wind turbines, whatever, um, they all speak this protocol. So, um, yeah, so basically, uh People can use uh, Eclipse SCADA either uh, as Eclipse SCADA, or they can also uh, go um, go to Eclipse SCADA for for getting a bundle, uh, implementing search or such protocol that they would like to use, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the basic idea. We tr uh, really try to isolate the different components so that you don't need the whole stack of Eclipse SCADA if you just wanted to use uh, the protocol because. 
maybe you want to implement something on your own. Uh, but if you want to have it easy, uh, then you can just use the Eclipse Scatter stuff because uh, it also provides some other useful abstractions which you can uh, use for your own stuff, like setting manual values, uh, whatever levels. And, and, and also, this is what we do uh, on our own with our own projects, that we sometimes only need some part of uh, the Eclipse Scatter system for example, uh, the, the data abstraction layer, so that we just can interface with the device, but we don't need visualization and monitoring. Um, so it's highly modular, thanks to OSGI, uh, and you can just take several components that you need. OK, great. So if people want to download uh, Eclipse SCADA, they go to eclipse.org slash Eclipse SCADA, right? Correct. Correct. Um, we have, uh, up to now, we have several uh, milestone builds, and um, we will hopefully make tomorrow or next week a release candidate build. Um, so we are ready for the, the final release, uh, end of April. And yeah. OK, thanks. Well, uh, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, for, for joining us. Uh, you can turn off your, your desktop sharing if you want uh, uh, our okay. flowers to, to, to see you uh, say, say bye, because I think we are we are done for this week. We are going to talk again in um, in two weeks' time. Um, just like uh, every time, if you want to um, join our hangout, if you have cool demos you want to show, uh, please drop me um, drop me a note on Twitter or on um, or, or send me an email. Um, if you have cool news that you would like us to share, please um, please let us know as well. And yeah, thanks again to to Jens and Jorgen, and we're going to talk again for Google Hangout number four in, in two weeks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.